Hello Piggy people, so this is going to be the first part about Annabelle's spay. She is presently at the vet clinic waiting for her spay. So we went this morning and she gets a health check first, so they're listening to her heart and lungs, uh, feeling around her belly just to make sure everything feels good, asking if she's ever had any health problems, and we passed for all of that. It's funny because she only weighs 800 grams. And then when we were there with Velvet and Reese, Reese was like 1350 or something crazy like that. So Annabelle sure is petite. So we'll get updated later this afternoon with how she's doing. I think she's going to be a good pig for being there and recovering and eating her veggies because she's pretty confident even on her own. Like when she was in the carrier, she was moving around and stuff like that. So I feel good that she's going to be fairly comfortable at the vet clinic where Reese and Velvet were terrified. So anyway, I have her cage set up. It's all fresh and clean. So underneath this fleece liner is our huge heat pad which goes from about here all the way to the back of her cage. She has soft orchard grass here on another liner. Her wood tunnels with a pad. She has a really cozy bed with a pad. So I picked this bed because it's open enough that I could get her out easily, but it's also warm. So after they've had abdominal surgery, if you need to handle them, you got to be really careful. So I will just have to see whether she needs to be hand fed or not. That's something that you kind of don't know until you get them back. Some pigs go right back to eating super well, like Reese and Velvet both did, whereas Annie, her sister, took a couple days of me hand feeding her every few hours to kind of supplement her food because she was eating a bit on her own but not enough. So I'll see how Annabelle is doing. Got her pellets there and she has a little half a urinary tab and her water bottle right now is at the vet clinic so this is how I've got it set up. She's not a crazy active pig so this 2x3 I feel confident is small enough to keep her settled because she's kind of a pig on her own that's fairly shy and quiet. So our hopes are that after her hormones are gone, she will go back with her sister and I'll be able to take out this divider. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. So I will update you guys uh, once we get her back home and we'll see how she's doing. So I'm back with Annabelle, just getting her some food in her system and then I'm going to pop her back in the cage. So just doing some Sherwood recovery food. She actually looks like her eyes are pretty alert and she's standing upright, so that's good. I've just popped her back into her cage here so that she can grab some pellets or some hay, whatever she wants to do when it's nice and warm in here. She's so petite, so I'm going to put her veggies in here too. Can't really see her, can we? Here, Annie. Are you gonna eat some hay, sweetheart? There's your veggies. Are you gonna come get those? Will you come grab something? That'd be great. Yeah, do your veggies. Oh good. Well, we're thinking about snacking on hay. Are we going to have some baby girl? Oh good. Okay. She is taking some hay. That's great. Oh, are we? Or are we just picking through? It's so hard to see. Maybe not. Maybe we didn't take any. Oh, she's cleaning herself. I was feeding her, so maybe that's why. 
We've got to wash out before dinner, I guess. Okay, you have something to eat so I can see. Oh, we're moving. I should go get your water bottle, shouldn't I? I'll go grab that. So it's hard to see, but she is eating hay, so that's good. And then, plus her heat pads under there, so she'll stay nice and warm, which is always good. Especially for the skinny pigs, but any pig after surgery, they have a bit of a hard time getting their body temperature to be maintained properly. It takes a little bit for the anesthesia to get out of their system and for them to be able to do that. So I've got her water bottle back. Uh, she has her veggies sitting on the side for when she wants those. She's not interested in them just yet. So I will update you guys a bit more. It's really hard to see. I don't want to get too close and bother her. Yeah, she's working away, so that's great. So the next thing that I'll want to see is that she's pooping. And then that'll make me happy. So in Annabelle's cage, I have a bunch of orchard grass. Now her favorite is Timothy, but right now all the Timothy hay is super stocky and pokey. And it just makes me nervous with a new incision. So I've picked off all these green parts of the Timothy. And I'm just going to give some of those pieces so that she can enjoy them because I know she likes them here sweetie got the good stuff there Oops. here's a good one can you get it hope it went beside you here Can you get it? Good girl. Here we go. Maybe I'll go pick some more of those because she really loves it. Once her incision is healing better, then I'll put more Timothy in. She's just a piggy that climbs on the piles and it just makes me nervous with how pokey it is. There's a couple more pieces over here. There you go. Good girl, Annabelle. So we have ate some veggies. Uh, we we'll probably only have half the veggies left. And she's in her bed now, having a nap. So that's a pretty good start. I still don't see poops, but hopefully we'll see that within the next hour or so. And I'm just going to monitor to make sure she keeps um, having something to eat or I will take her out to hand feed again. So, so far so good. So this is the first poop that we've gotten from Annabelle. Really gross. So there's all mucus and it's just like a little tiny ball of actual poop. And there was a little bit still stuck in her bum because it was kind of attached by like stringy looking stuff. So very gross. So if you ever had a pig who had poop like this who hadn't just gone through surgery, that is a terrible poop. But hopefully the ones to come after are going to look better and better and better. So it is the next day. Right now I have her log and her bed out of her cage because I need her to get moving. So I was up last night to hand feed her in the middle of the night. She's off and on for eating. She'll be doing okay and then she kind of doesn't want to eat anything else on her own. So today I've just been doing every two hours I'll come down. I'll make her get up, give her some of the Sherwood recovery food. 
and then I'll put her back in her cage without her bed and tunnel just so she gets moving around and she has poops uh, it's only after I've got her to get up and get moving that she'll poop they're still fairly ugly looking but no longer mucusy so that's good I just gave her some gas drops too in case her tummy is a bit gassy and we're doing okay like she's bright she's alert she's a real handful to try to hand feed she's such a little squirmy wormy she just wants to not sit still and then when you're trying to hand feed her she's throwing her head around trying to back up and gets both her little paws on the syringe to shove it away from her so she's she's a challenge but I mean I've got a hand feeder so we kind of have to get through it I'm hoping by this evening that maybe she'll be a little more perky she is really fidgety so she's naturally a super fidgety piggy but uh, today she's just uh, bopping around a lot and like doing like little nibbles on her legs or checking her tummy out so thankfully the sutures are on the inside of her stomach but hopefully like if she can keep moving today she can get all the junk out of her system and start feeling more normal she's doing well like she's very alert and active it's just a little hit and miss for eating but I remember Annalise was the same where it was a couple days of if I didn't get her out of her bed she just wanted to stay in there so anyway things are going decent um, usually like the first 24 to 48 hours are the most crucial to make sure you're getting them back to eating and pooping and getting their system going so yeah we're just gonna keep pushing through so I just like I said I give her a couple hours off and then I come back for about an hour to bug her because <laughs> it takes me about half an hour to get not even that much of the Sherwood recovery food in her because she's a pain and then I watch her for half an hour like I am right now without her beds and then after about half an hour I'll put them back in and she can go back in her bed for another nap Alright, well thanks for watching guys and I'll keep you posted. Bye bye! If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!